So before creating this piece, I will have to link metal elements from a five element philosophical standpoint into context. And this context will be a Canadian context because we're talking about five provinces within Canada. And then from that time on, I will need to link it up to the artistic creation that I'm producing. Questions like, what is the story or context that I would like to give? Um, what, would, what do I want to say? And how do I want to say it? Do I want to be abstract or I want to let the audience follow the storyline? So these are some of the questions that I need to determine before creating. Also, I have to think about the location because now I have decided that this will be about the railway and knowing that uh, the Winnipeg station was a, a, a hub, a railway hub to many in historical time. Um, so I need to indulge myself and also get to know more about the history that has been created in Winnipeg. I'm exploring the element of wood. Uh, to me, it is one of the pillars uh, that maintains the balance with the other elements, and it has a different kind of relationship with each one, some beneficial and some detrimental. For this process, I knew that plenty of research on the five elements in Chinese philosophy would be very important. Uh, this is a new concept to me, one that I wasn't too familiar with before taking on this project. Um, I understand that these are concepts from a culture that is not mine. Um, and for this project, I strive to see how this philosophy is relevant in my own life. The water element allows me to do various experiments due to its different states. First, I will brainstorm and write down everything related to water that can be found in Chinese poetry and the various meanings. I will find their similarities and differences and connect them in my life experience through using five senses. Then I will start improvising using various kinds of music. Mm, yes, after I chose fire, I have to get it. I start to uh, get it more delve into this uh, deeper um, research period and that's I just I said earlier the research can really excites me give me more perspective up about these five elements especially fire so after that I have to I, uh, I can I have to decide or determine what entry point I want to start to get into to my uh, creation to do the work uh, after that I start choosing um, start thinking about how many dancers and what the dancers should be and what the dance style that I want to pursue with this piece. Um, then the music and the location of the, um, uh, of the piece. Um, the reason the location is really important for this piece is that because it's a site specific piece. So I need to really find a location in Vancouver that is suitable for, for, uh, for the piece. Um, and then I need to start to uh, take talking, uh, you know, thinking about uh, costumes, and um, and very important for this piece is to talk or brainstorming with the videographer to um, you know to finding different ways to explore different ways to start uh, to, to to film this piece. Before creating the piece, I needed to determine my cast. Uh, my crew, and I've hired Julie Robert, who is a longtime collaborator, dancer, mover here in Halifax. I'm also working with two um, installation artists, visual artists, and they will be working in a land art uh, connection to our duet. And these artists are Kim Morgan and Lorraine Albert. Uh, we also needed to determine where this um, piece will take place in Nova Scotia. And we determined that Peggy's Cove, a major landmark um, on the East Coast, which is very Nova Scotian, is where we will be filming 
this video. Um, several uh, questions that came up that we are still trying to figure out are how to touch on the land art and these, uh, this installation. Um, how do we use the earth, the land, the soil, um, and to build what's on site, this kind of um, world that the duet can live in, where the earth element um, has no borders and it nourishes us and it can destroy us at the same time. <laughs>